This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central ah, no. transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. This is amazing. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. This is so cool. Oh look, going down, look, going down. Let's see if we can watch the mechanisms. We going down? Oh, whoa, there we go. Felt my stomach go then. Oh, this is awesome, look. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. There's no strange artifacts. It looks amazing. Literally, there's no artifacts. There's no weird shadows. It just looks right. Oh, yeah. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Can't be our smoothest running. To open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to oh, exit wow. the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. And the lighting effects look awesome. Not too sure how long this is going to go on for, but it's quite a long, lengthy train ride, to be honest. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and boat clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer.
reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Shit. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Cool. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, I know. It's them bus times, you know. Can't count on them. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. That geezer still owes me 50 quid, man. Must have finally caught up with him. Yeah, my fucking, he owes me some money, you gotta tell him. Yo, let me in, man. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Yeah, I know. Sell out. Bit too 80s for me, though, man. I had to, I had to groom that shit, you know? Cheers, bro. Alright, then work head on. Let's be professional. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Good morning. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. What do you mean, you imbecile? One of those days, I guess. They were also uh, having amateurs. some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. It Can you elaborate further? Headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Doctor Ben Truman, please place secure line call two seven one five. Hold it right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Hmm, hazard suit. Dread. No toilet paper. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Excuse me, minor emergency. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Of you to find hey, the hello. Test, doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. 
bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The Administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, In then. Their I'll test, walk you down. test chamber. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Eli. Oh. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Oh, wow. Gordon. Good morning. Hey, morning, Eli. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! Fuck. It's about to go critical. Anything you want me to do, man? What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost, the radiation level is off the charts. Good job, I got my suit. My latest glory, I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. I don't know how much longer I can have five minutes. Test lab. Hey. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for heads up. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel- Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Gordon, are you not hearing me? Climb up and start the rotors, please. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters 
activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion or non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. What is he doing in there? It's nothing you need to worry about. Uh, go ahead, Gordon. So cool. So I have to tell you guys, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Cool. Yeah, one of the things that I do need to tell you is uh, the, the first game that I actually properly played was Half-Life 2 of the series. Um, I went back to try and play afterwards, um, but in all honesty, I couldn't quite get get into the uh, the first one as much, you know. Um, after playing after playing the second one, the first one just seemed too ugly. So getting this now, you can actually go back and play uh, a, a tribute to the first one. And I think this is going to be amazing. The graphics look so much nicer than than for, uh, Half Life Two. It looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, to get this up and running, what you need to do, guys, is um, rename the EXE to HL2, and this will game will hook, thinking it's Half-Life 2. Oh, later. He's gone. He's gone. Let him go. 